Hello, everybody. Happy June 18th, 2020. My name is Christopher Saunders, and this is the Connecticut Sports Talent Show, where we talk all things talents in Connecticut. And on today's show, we have a senior from Hall, second Hall player I'll get on this podcast. His name, Dejon Banks. And you'll see very soon that he's a multi-talented, plays multiple positions in the game of football. Dejon, it's a pleasure to be able to have you on. Thank you for having me. You know, before we get in, you know, into your time with Hall, just tell me about kind of what got you into playing football. Well, actually, I started off, um, I was a local football player in West Hartford. Um, I was inspired by my brother. I actually can remember the first practice where my mother and I went to pick up my brother for practice. And I guess we showed up like a few minutes earlier than when we should. And, you know, just seeing people run around, the contact, I, I just love the sport. I fell in love with it. Now, what age was that? I believe four. Four, so that's when you got hooked. Yeah. Now, were you always, did you always play multiple positions as far as when you started? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What positions was well, that? Well, people didn't know about me. I actually used to play quarterback. Really? It's hard to, it's hard to believe, but I used <laughs> to play quarterback. I had some quarterback. I had a cannon at the time, but as of right now, I don't know. I probably lost it, but yeah, I played quarterback, um, linebacker. This is during the youth the youth league. Um, mm-hmm. Cornerback or quarterback, linebacker, played a running back, obviously, receiver a bit. I was just a multi like position athlete at the time. Now, how tall were you when you were in your youth days? Uh, I was pretty tall. Um, I would say about like five. I would say five, 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 six, five, six around that range. And you said you were amongst the tallest as far as the group that you were with? Yeah. Okay. And then how tall are you now? I'm currently six feet. Okay. So you're still growing, but it goes to show that, you know, even though you are still growing, you were still kind of amongst one of the taller players during that time. Yeah. That's pretty good. That's not bad, man. And the fact that you were playing quarterback, you were playing linebacker and stuff, I mean, having that extra height, even though it's at the youth level, kind of allows you to get off some of those throws. Oh, yeah. You know? So when you first got to Hall, kind of tell me about, because when did you start playing varsity for Hall? Um, I actually was swinging, uh, suiting up for varsity my sophomore year. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, I didn't play my freshman year. Um, I believe you had a kid, Elijah Kamani, a couple of weeks ago. He was talking about the Hartford Hurricanes. Mm-hmm. I, in fact, played with him my freshman year. He's a good kid, good athlete. But, um, yeah, I started playing football, high school football, sophomore year. And that's when I was swinging to varsity JVO couple of rotations, you know, got my plays in. Do you think it was good that you were kind of going both ways as far as JV and varsity because I kind of oh, gave yeah. you time to get acclimated to the varsity game oh, and yeah. then still get reps at the JV level? Oh, yeah. I think it was it was a perfect, I guess, a setting for me to develop into the high school, you know, flow because it's mm-hmm. different from youth in high school. It's more fast-paced, more physical contact, you know, just got to be built for the sport. And when you started playing for Hall, as far as just in general for playing football, did they tell you off the bat you would be this multi-talented player as far as wide receiver, free safety, and kick returner? Um, I actually told them the positions I played, and, (laughs) (laughs) you know, they just fit me in where a spot. Um, Mm -hmm. Actually, sophomore year, it was my first year ever playing corner, so I guess I'm, yeah, first year ever playing corner, so. You know, I'm now getting the hang of the position. I really like the position, and I just thank the coaches for giving me the opportunity for playing in that position. I was just about to ask, because it was your first time, how long did it take you to get acclimated? And it seems like it took some time. Oh, yeah, definitely. It, wouldn't, it didn't take one, two, three games. You know, it, it came in throughout practice, mm-hmm. you know, just watching film, talking with coaches, what can I do better, what I can fix, what should be you know, planned out which I what's my mental um stage should be before games, during games and after the games. You know, I'm still learning the position till this day, you know. I can't mm-hmm. it's not pinpointed down yet. There's not many players that I've talked to or even know it can in Connecticut that can play two positions to the highest level. And three is what you do and I think that goes to show the kind of talent that you have, but also the kind of athletic ability that you have too. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. Tell me about kind of how do you feel about being probably one of the few players in Connecticut that can play three positions at the highest level? 
Oh, it's great. It just, I just exposed myself to my athletic um, capability. It just shows how, how much IQ I have in the game of, or the game I love. You know, um, being a multi-sport athlete in a multi-position athlete, it just shows how flexible I can be on the field and off the field. Now, I know in baseball, when there's a player that's either a first baseman or a third baseman or first and outfield, whatever, he has to bring two gloves with him. He has to kind of do various things to keep himself in shape on both sides defensively so he doesn't lose that. For you, yeah. how do you keep yourself as far as football shape is concerned and with the playbook for kick returning, wide receiver, and free safety? Because you're having to look at, what, three different playbooks? Oh, yeah. You know, it's all just comes down to watching film, studying the plays. You know, coaches always recommend to watch film, get to know yourself and the other team, and, of course, your position. So, you know, now that we're in, you know, quarantine pand or pandemic going on, it's a perfect time to, you know, rest. Obviously, like, train still, but, like, rest, watch film, study the playbook, do all of that so you can have your mind right to when the season starts approaching. And looking at the last three years, or – two years with Hall, you've been very productive. Kind of just reflect a little bit on that for me. You know, Hall is a good program, a phenomenal program. Um, coaches are blessing their, you know, their athletes with all the, I guess, equipment, you know, again, film, playbooks and all of that. And we, as players, need to take advantage of the things. We can't just take this thing for granted. You know, these coaches are taking the time to, you know, set up the film, set up the um, playbooks and all of that and we again as players should you know thank the coaches and having a mindset of you know these coaches took the time to do this so why would we not take the time to you know take advantage of it and I noticed something real quick your left hand what happened so you have a cast uh, yeah it's not nothing too serious um yesterday actually I did mm -hmm. a seven on seven and my teammate you know pass interference pi and I just came down landed wrong it's nothing serious just a sprain well, that's good because I think Hall's expecting a big season from you, but also kind of oh, just yeah. the program overall because I think there's a time where teams look like they may pop. And I think Hall, this might be the year where the talent is perfect to be able to do something. Oh, yeah. As you guys, um, well, some may know that last year was our rebuild year, you know, coming off of years where we didn't perform so well, like two and eight. You know, we came back six and four, which is, I guess, a big step for us, but we're looking to keep that train pushing, you know. We're trying to carry on that tradition of winning. Well, that's why when you think about it, you look at a rebuilding year. I, I think that I've always believed the biggest year is the second season of the rebuild. Can you oh, see yeah. some improvement as far as winning is concerned? Oh, and definitely. Going six and four, seven and three, stuff like that. That I think that's a good jumping point because then you not only give the players confidence, but it also allows the coaches to understand. As long as they're not losing a lot of seniors from that win, you know, that winning season, then you could say to yourselves, okay. I think next year is going to be the year that we pop. Yeah, of course. Of course. Um, it's just, you know, we're just trying to keep the tradition, the winning tradition going, you know. Now, what trying. colleges are looking at you? Because I know we talked a little bit about before coming on Wilkes, Assumption. Yeah, I know you mentioned Division Two, Division Three, but you're actually looking for athle not athletics, but you're looking for academics first yeah. before football. Of course, you know, without foot or without brains, you can't possibly function around this world. So, you know, education always comes first. Being a student athlete, student comes first and then the athlete comes second. I just want to go to a place where I know I can fit in, feel comfortable, have an education on my back where obviously my athletic ability. But like, mm -hmm. you no, know, I just want to go to a setting where I know, oh, I can rely on this place to give me a good education to help me function throughout the world. That's a mature approach. A lot of, you know, young athletes would rather have the athlete first, then the school, and then you wonder why the player goes to, like, three different schools because the yeah. school didn't fit them. And you want yeah. to go where the school fits you, and then if the program is good along with it, then that's a bonus. Yep. That's exactly what I'm trying to do. That's good. That's really good. Are you, um, I'm sure you probably haven't thought of a major yet, but is there anything specific you're looking at? I'm still deciding between marketing and sports and management, you know, okay. so I'm kind of still deciding, it's, you know, I have one more year left to go. So, so what is your, what is your dream job as far as after college? What, what do you want to do? Well, obviously I want to go to the league, but anywhere where, you know, 
I can just make profit, mm-hmm. invest in my money, you know. Just so, some stock. Sounds whatever. like you're good in math. Oh, yeah. I love math. <laughs> That's my favorite. I love math. See, a lot of kids don't like math. I love math. I hate math. Not very good at the whole <laughs> math stuff. No. Too much. I love math. That's good, though. I mean, hey, never count out the league. I mean, look, the Patriots drafted a player in Division Three. He went, in the, yeah. I think, the first or second round. So mm-hmm. it's never a long shot. If you produce on the field, people will see you. Oh, yeah. Definitely. So I got one more question for you, Dejan. I do appreciate you coming on. Senior year, potentially a big season for Hall. What is your expectations? Because I, I – you know, I've asked another player that I've had on from Hall as well, and he told me he's expecting a lot. And I think that you guys have a good chance to be able to pop. But for yourself, you taking care of business, what do you expect out of your multi-position ability? Um, well, we can't always predict the future, but I'm hoping and I actually believe that, you know, we're just going to bring a culture. We're going we're gonna to just be a different team, you know. We're going to separate us from – different teams you know we obviously don't have the strength of size but you know we have speed which obviously has been shown throughout last year that speed actually kills you know teams teams have advantages on us but you know we have an advantage we have speed heart you know we have our brains our iq to like win games so what i'm expecting is just for us to you know carry on carry on the winning tradition no, I think you guys have a very good chance to be able to accomplish something. And I think people, not saying that teams take Hall lightly, but I think if they if they just assume that, oh, they're going to go back to the 2-8 and eight record, yeah. I don't see that happening. You guys are way not too talented. No, we have so much talent on our team for us to go 2-8. and eight. Well, Dejan, I wish you nothing but the best of luck your senior year. And when you make your first commitment, or when you make your only commitment, I should say, come back on the show and we can talk about that. Oh, yeah, definitely. Looking forward to it. That'll wrap things up here in the Connecticut Sports Talent Show. So, as always, stay safe and enjoy the rest of your day, everybody.